so with more crypto gains. What's going on, guys? Happy Monday. Hope you had a great weekend. Um, we had some nice weather out here, so not too bad at all. Today's topic, and um, this came about because somebody said that a certain platform was way overpriced. And, you know, I'm always thinking about kind of the higher level thought processes of a lot of these things. And that question is, what is value? You know, a lot of people are, you know, they get into these these dApps and these platforms and, you know, the, the platform's coin price is like all over the place, you know. It's five, it's 10, it's 20, it's, you know, rubies were up to, up to almost 70. And then, you know, then they dropped to below 10. And you're like, what is causing that? Well, first and foremost, before I get into the, the types of value per se, is you have to recognize there's different reasons why people value these platforms. And that's what causes all these erratic prices. Um, you know, really one of the only only platform coins to hold a somewhat stable value is TronBet. And I know you can go in circles and people say this and that about TronBet, but you know, it is what it is. The facts are the, the price of Anti has stayed pretty stable compared to other platforms. So, um, let's talk about value. So, I think first and foremost, people have been short-sighted. And the reason why you're seeing so much volatility in these prices on these platforms is because people have no loyalty to a platform anymore. They are they are instantly chasing massive div payouts and then trying to sell their platform coin as fast as possible. And it just causes these big erratic shifts. But there's value, let's talk value. You have production value. You know, you, you hear about this in Bitcoin all the time, meaning what does it take to produce X whatever, you know, in this case, one ante, one ruby, one TNX. What is that? That would be your mining value. That's your production value. You know, you always hear about people talking about Bitcoin. You know, what is the production value? It's 3,600 or, you know, I'm sure it's lower than that in these specialized mines. But the concept there is one type of value is production value, meaning people will pay for what it costs to um, make it minted. So in the case of these platforms, it may be about 30 TRX, um, 25 TRX. Now, that's one type of value, production value. Second type of value, return on investments. So return on investment value basically people value this this is typically a value higher than production value people value something because of what it will produce in the future so these would be the divs you know so if something is paying out really well like tnx the, the value of the of the coin is slowly creeping up because people are starting to say, hey, this thing has got a really good production value. It's gonna keep paying for a long time. So as a result, something can, from like let's say that this is a production value, um, and um, you know, this is the return on investment value, there could be a huge gap here, and that's where you get the ROI. Okay, it takes 30 days for me to get back to my um, my investment, my my production. You know what I invested to get it. So you have to be careful on return investment value because it is similar to speculation value. So, and that brings us to the third type of value. It's pure speculation value. So 
What that means is the only reason somebody is holding that asset is because they think the price is gonna go up. They don't care about the production value. They don't care about the return on investment, what it, uh, value. They are just holding it because they think it's gonna go up. Now, so apply those three principles to these platforms and you can start to see why they're so huge of like erratic spikes in the values of these coins. Um, so like Tronbet, you could say, oh, it's probably got a lot of speculative value, which is why a lot of people hold it. Um, because the return on investment value seems low compared to like TNX. You know, it's paying out much higher on the daily. It's a one-to-one -one where Tronbet might be 0 0.07 or 0.1. So, you know, so kind of think about that when you get into some of these platforms and say, ask yourself, why am I holding this, this platform coin? Is it for speculation because you think the coin price is going to skyrocket? Is it for return on investment because you think the divs are just going to keep paying, paying, and paying, or the divs pay at a higher rate than others? Or thirdly, um, did you get it because the price is so low that you think it's at the production value? Now, what I will say is some of the takeaways is that people are jumping platforms so fast that most coins cannot hold their production value right now, period. There really is no coin, not that I can think of, there is no platform coin that is holding its production value. Like TNX, Tron Next, things all over the place. It's very hard to beat the house on that. I've tried, I actually, you know, I've tried a lot of different scenarios and it's very hard to get the mining cost consistently low, um, especially when the contract gobbles up so much energy. You know, I have varying rates from 30 to 50. And there's people that say they can do it for 20, but when I ask, they're really not sharing their methodology of how, of how they're doing it. And I've tried split windowing, quad windowing, triple windowing. Um, yeah, it's at a very high production cost on Tron Next. But the return on investments value of Tron Next is high. Um, you know, Tron Bet, you know, realistically, it's probably about 32 to mine one ante. So once again, and then, the, you know, the current market was like 25. So now Tron Bet could have huge speculative value now and that's because of all the games that they say they're bringing to their platform the advertising and third-party dApps and all this other stuff so I think that's why with Tronbet you don't see the price fall below a certain a certain level just because the people regardless of a couple days of bad return on investment value that you know the people don't care now Tron next you know, it, it kind of reminds me of a goo factory though, because it is a, it's kind of, it's, they're not paying out all the divs at once. It's a trickle system. However, at some point there will be dilution and, you know, you'll get to the top of the curve and your daily divs will start to decrease, hourly divs, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, so yeah, that's something to think about today. So think about that before you jump into your next one or you pay some ridiculous price for uh, inflated value. Uh, because honestly, most of these platforms right now, the coin price, yeah, the coin price is one tenth, one twentieth the production value. So basically, that means that most of these platforms are mining garbage, meaning the price to produce it doesn't even come close to the market value. 
So think about that before you invest in your next platform or play games on your next platform and, you know, put in your hard-earned TRX, you know. Stability, stability is probably the key moving forward on a lot of these platforms is how can you make the platform divs more stable so that you can you know stop these huge erratic swings in price um, because you know it's just it's crazy how much you can lose on the arbitrage but when I when I say the arbitrage of the coin meaning let's say you paid 30 on Monday and then Wednesday the coin price drops to 15 you just got you've got you just got wrecked on that so um, something to think about production value return on investment value speculative value why are you buying that coin